you have the Vortex Tab 8, and just to make sure we're talking about the same device, it's a tablet that looks about like this, oval camera, Vortex on the back, Tab 8, and you are having problems with your SIM chip or SD card. Now, the unfortunate thing about the SIM tray on the uh, Tab 8 is that it's poorly made. So it takes a little bit of patience. So if you haven't identified where it is yet, it's at the top of the device. And there's a handful of things that I notice. So if you have the glass facing top. So, and the other thing is that they're starting to send out little SIM tools like this that are super easy to lose. And, you know, it used to be this tool that's a little bit uh, harder to lose. I happen to have a watch repair kit where these came in. So these, these are awesome tools. And if you have nothing else, don't use a paper clip. Use a small safety pin like this. It's the correct diameter. You won't uh, break the, uh, the keyhole inside. But for this example, I'm going to use my better tool because I want to show you that if you don't... So if you are holding your device upside down like this, okay? So let's start... Kind of makes sense. The best orientation is with the glass facing up, which we'll find out in a moment why... The one thing that I notice is that it takes a couple of attempts to find the, the switch on the inside of the keyhole. So I actually have put this in a couple of times, I get nothing. Okay, so you have to be patient. It becomes now like a puzzle box where you have to find the little tiny latch. It's all easy and small motions. So if if the if your tool is going is sinking all the way in, just stop for a second and you want to have the angle change just a little bit. So if I'm holding, let me see if I can do this. Okay, if I'm holding the tablet flat, if I stick the tool in straight in like this, so I'm holding the tablet flat, I, I'm going to miss the switch. See, I bypassed the switch. So what you have to do is you have to come in at, at about a 45 degree angle. Let's see if I can demonstrate that well to find that switch. It feels like I might have it right there. None of this is, is pressing hard or forcing. I just gently, see, I just gently gently did it. Now I'll use the example of if, if you only have a safety pin. If you only have a safety pin, you want to have it at an angle right about like that. Okay, now the thing, do this next. Don't take it all the way out. Turn your device all the way over so you don't spill out, lose your, your SIM chip. Okay, there's a SIM tray and it comes out. Oh, no, I did it wrong. Keep it upside down so that your SIM chip doesn't fall out. There we go. So the best orientation is to do this with the glass facing down. Okay. So now if you want to change out your SIM chip to another carrier, just make sure the orientation of both your SIM chip and your SD card are the same. You've got the little notch right here that tells you the orientation. Match up the notches. And then your... SD card is also, if you see metal, the metal has to be on the same side. Metal and SD card of the SD card and the SIM chip are both facing down. Oh. And it takes a little bit of patience. None of this is forced. It just lays down nice and easy. Should stay there. Okay. Now, what I like to suggest is that you hold the SIM tray in your, your dominant hand and then you bring the device to you, and now we'll just let it, oh, see, we get a good example here of what happens. I'm gonna do it again. Then make sure those are laying down flat. And it will, you know, I, I've, I've done this 100,000 times with different devices over the years. So if it takes you a few tries, it's okay. You can feel it's not. And you get it to stick to your fingerprints because you got a little bit of moisture on your fingerprints. There we go. Line it up there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. And at any point you feel like you have to force it, it's come undone and just back out and you got to do it again. Sometimes it might help you to just lay it flat on the ground. And so you only have one motion going as opposed to trying to balance the device and balance the SIM tray at the same time. But there you have it. Hopefully that has helped you with your SIM chip 
or your SD card on your Vortex Tab 8. Hey, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And if you need a video about how to make your Tab 8 go a little bit faster, watch this video next.